After hours of courtship, the men... <coughs> Cough? Take Curic Syrup Ubat Batuk Gamat dan Madu Plus. After several hours of waiting, the horn bills. Curic Syrup Ubat Batuk Gamat dan Madu Plus. It can relieve cough and phlegm. Curix. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. After several weeks of talk about a supposed flying car, a model of the device in question made a premiere today at the Langkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition, or LIMA. The catch? According to Aerodyne Group, the company behind the project, it is not a flying car, but rather a point-to-point -point air transportation system. Low-cost carrier AirAsia CEO Tony Fernandez told Singapore's Channel News Asia that closing down Malaysia Airlines' Berhad would not be a wise decision as it is a good brand that could be turned around. However, despite a call by DAP lawmaker RSN Ryer to helm the airline, Tony Fernandez said that he is not interested in taking over mass, saying that his plate is currently full and that AirAsia is trying to expand its digital business. The government has been floating the idea of selling off the national carrier since its losses have caused its parent company, Kazana National Berhad, to go into the red. Embattled Public Accounts Committee Chairperson Ronald Candy today said that he is ready to be replaced once a new candidate is identified. Speaking to journalists after chairing a PAC meeting himself, Ronald said that he will abide by the Prime Minister's decision, saying that Dr. Mahathir Muhammad had told him that he will be replaced when a new chairperson is identified. Mahathir had previously said that Ronald can remain as the PAC chairperson even though he had switched from AMNO to Bersatu, but received brickbats from both Harapan and opposition MPs over the matter as Harapan's manifesto promised that that the PAC will be chaired by an opposition lawmaker. Earlier this week, opposition members in the PAC announced that they will be resigning from the committee. During today's meeting, surely enough, none of them were present, including Betong MP Robert Lawson Chuat. Although he did not join the opposition members who resigned from the committee, he was not available to attend the meeting. Today, the PAC Deputy Chairperson Wong Ka Wo said that the committee is yet to receive resignation letters as of last night. He elaborated that even if they were to resign, the PAC can still go on as it meets the quorum of nine members required to proceed with meetings. The opposition MPs who resigned said that they are resigned from the posts until the chairperson is changed. Bank Negara Malaysia has revised the nation's 2019 GDP forecast to 4.3 and 4.8 percent, down from a previous estimate of 4.9 percent. Central Bank Governor Shamsia Mohamad Yunus said that the move was in tandem with similar growth revisions taking place on the global economy, citing how global growth was revised downwards from 3.7 percent to 3.5 percent. The bank also forecast that private consumption, the services sector, the manufacturing sector and gross exports will shrink this year compared to last year. He also explained that global trade tensions and regime change in the 14th general election are main factors for causing uncertainty in the economy in 2018. After hours of courtship, the male babbler... <coughs> Cough? Take Curic Syrup Ubat Batuk Gamat dan Madu Plus. After several hours of waiting, the horn bills. Curic Syrup Ubat Batok Gamat dan Madu Plus. It can relieve cough and phlegm. Curic. That's all from me today, ladies and gentlemen. For more stories, you can go to kinetv.com. Don't forget, you can hit like, share, comment, follow, and subscribe. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thank you for watching.